Hey, what's going on, all you cats out there? It's Gavin the Grease here. So today, I thought I'd show you cats out there how I do my slick back hair. Now, as you can see, my hair is not even close to being in order how I normally have it, so. That's why we're gonna fix it up. So, the products I'm gonna be using for this video are Murray's Edge Wax, my combs, so this comb I use a lot um, because my hair is thick and wavy, so, you know, a comb like this works very much fine for me. And then for the sides of my hair, I use a roller brush to kind of, you know, kind of glide the hair back, kind of, you know, do that type of thing. It works really well with my hair, so that's why I use a roller brush for the sides. And then I'm gonna use some uh, hairspray to kind of uh, hold everything together, you know, because sometimes pomade doesn't do it. Sometimes you need something just to kind of like hold it together. And I'm gonna be using this company of hairspray to kind of hold it in place, you know, just, just to give it that extra hold, you know. So yeah, let's get into this, you dig? All right, so first thing that I always do before I do my hair is I get a little water in my hair so I can get my hair wet and so I can, you know, fucking, you know, get to the way I want it to go. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So right now I'm just kind of getting water in my hair, you know, kind of getting, you know, able to move and where I want it to go. There's no grease in it right now, so, you know, obviously it's gonna be really able to be moved around a lot because there's no pomade in there. But just to, you know, kind of, Get your hair to the way you want it, you know, all that other stuff. You know, getting it ready, getting it ready for shape and whatnot. You know, not so much water, but you want, you know, just kind of like a right amount to kind of, you know, just kind of getting water in there so I can move the pomade wherever I need to go, whatnot, you know, kind of getting ready for my slick back hairstyle. And, yeah, so I got, all right, so I got water in there, you know, whatnot now comes time for the maybe a little more you can never be too much sure with with how much water you're putting in your hair just to kind of you know get your hair wherever you want it to go that should be good though but yeah put as much water in your hair as you want but you know i can never you know be too sure so i always you know all right now comes time for the murray's edge wax now, I'm using Murray's Edge Wax because it's my go-to pomade. It's the pomade I use a lot. Out of all the pomades I've used, Murray's Edge Wax has been the one I use the most. So, we're, that's why we're going to be using Murray's Edge Wax. So, let's go ahead and get uh, slicking back my hair and get into the hair process, shall, shall we? Alright, so there's the label. And here is the pomade, just white pomade, white hair gel, you know. Not, you can't really see it to the cam through the camera. But looks like an empty jaw pomade, honestly. But it's just white hair gel, you know, simple, basic, you know. All right. Now, the key to putting pomade in your hair, cats and chicks out there, the key, to, you know, if you're new to greasing, the key is you don't want to grab too much and you don't want to grab too little. You want to grab the perfect amount of grease or pomade, whatever you call it, to put in your hair. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So, when you're grabbing pomade, like I said, not too much, not too little of an amount is what you grab on something like that. should be good, all right? And then, you rub it in. Rub it in the hands. Now, when rubbing it in, guys, you know, if you're new to greasing or if you're new to this, what you wanna do is you wanna rub it in, e you know, evenly. So that way, you know, it's, mixed into the hands, mixed in, you know, through your fingers, whatnot. You want to rub it in evenly. And you'll know when, it's, when you're done rubbing it in your hands when you, when you know, pretty much that. You know, I can't really fucking tell you, but you'll know when you know. And I know because it feels even, you know. When it feels even in your hands and your fingers, whatnot, that's when you know that you're done rubbing it in through your fingers and hands. And then you can just start applying it to the hair like I'm about to do. You dig? All right. Enough from rambling on. Let's do this. So, you simply take the pomade cats and chicks and you rub it in to the hair. Okay? Like so. You know? You want to rub it in. You want to make sure, you know, that you're getting it in 
all those places you need to get it in at so that way when you comb it it's ready to go it's not going to fall apart and it's going to stay the way you want it to stay that's your goal when you're putting pomade in your hair or you're putting fresh pomade or whatever you're doing that's what your goal is is to get the pomade where you want it to go and make sure it keeps your hair shiny and you know looking nice looking you know neat in order all that good stuff and make sure it's looking the way you want it to go and want it to be like I'm doing. You know, I'm getting it in everywhere I can get it in to make sure it goes the way I want it to go. You dig? All right, put a little bit more pomade in there just to kind of, you know, get it good for real, you know? All right, same thing. You know, I'm not gonna put too much more in um, as I did the first time. So put a, a lot less than I did the first time. You know, this is just to keep the hair in place you know, keep it from falling apart, you know, that that whole deal. That's what the little extra pomade that I'm putting in my hair is for, is to keep it in place and where I want it to stay. So I don't have to fucking fuck with pomade that much, but just to kind of keep it where I want it to go. You dig? All right, same thing, cats and chicks. Kind of just rub it in the hair, you know, get it where you want it to go. I'm not going to do a duck tail. I'm just going to do a simple, straight, straightforward, slick back hairstyle. Um... I will probably do more hair tutorials in the future, but this is only my first one that I'm doing here on the channel. So yeah, but yeah, pretty much basic, man. Just get it where you want it to go when you're putting it in your hair and then you calm it down and you're done. All right, it's simple, taking my time, doing what I need to do, you dig? All right, now we can close the uh, pomade up because we're done with it, that's all we're gonna need from it. And now comes the combing part and the brush part, you know, these two fucking things. That's what this part's for. All right, so here's how I comb my hair. I start off with the brush and not the comb first. So I can brush the sides down, get them nice. And then as the comb comes in last, you wanna put a little hairspray in at the end just to kind of, you know, get it down for good, you know what I'm saying? So like a little bit something like this. So as you can see, you know, getting the sides done first. And the key thing is, guys, is that when you're doing the sides of your hair, you know, pull back with your hands. So that way you can, you know, get everything nice and neat and orderly, man. You know what I'm saying? When you're doing the sides of your hair and you're brushing the sides of your hair, whatnot, you know, the wing tips is what I call them. You know, you want to make sure that you get it right. You know, you want to make sure you get it even where you want it. You know, pull back with your other hand. And, you know, just kind of, you know, fucking pull it back. Like so. As you can see, it's what I'm doing, pulling it back. But, yeah, man, let's say Murray's is a really good hair product. Murray's has got, you know, the stuff I like, you know, from a pomade company. All right. Hey, that's not looking half bad. It's looking pretty fucking good. At least the sides are. You know, because the top isn't done, but the sides, they ain't looking half bad, you know? I'm liking it. All right, so then with the brush, all you gotta do guys is just pull the hair back when you're brushing your hair on the side. Just make sure you pull it back, you know, get it where you want it. All right, now comes time for the comb, little comb action. Now I know it's a fucking pink comb, but it's the only fucking color I have, so deal with it. Just messing. All right, so. When it comes to combing the top, you want to make sure you get it evenly in place as much as you can. Even if it's not the best, you want to make sure that you get it in place because greasers are known for having good hair, okay? So you want to make sure you can get it as even as possible, like I did with my sides. With my sides, I got it as even as I could. Now I got to deal with the top part of my hair, this part. Yep. All right, so I'm just going to simply take the comb, run it through, you know, give that nice run through. And just simply comb, man, you know. Same thing with the brush, like I'm doing with the top part of my hair, is running my other hand through the hair so I can kind of get that feel and get that push back down that I need from this comb and from the pomade that's gel that's in my hair. You know, getting where I need to go and all, all the good jazz, and you dig? And I don't have my glasses on because, well, I don't feel like getting a whole kind of fucking grease on my glasses, so I don't have my glasses on because my sides are, you know, kind of long. I'm going to get a haircut soon. 
I do plan on it this weekend, maybe. All right, just gonna run through the sides real quick one more time. You know, make sure everything's nice. You're not, not, nothing's really out of place. Everything's gonna be looking nice, sharply in order. You dig, you know the drill, you know the drill. Make sure everything gets the way I want it to go. You know, nothing's sticking out. Everything's in place. And just made one more one through with my hands. And one more run through with my comb to, to, to finish it off. And then we should be done. It's looking pretty fucking good. And voila. Look at that. Not looking bad. Not looking bad at all. The sides are looking pretty good. The top's looking pretty good. Not looking half bad. You know? It's looking pretty fucking good. Alright, cats. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this hair tutorial on how to do a slick back hairstyle. The hairstyle I did. The hairstyle I rock. And I've been rocking for a long time. I still continue the hairstyle. And just to polish it off, you know, make sure everything stays together. The palm edge should help, but you know, just in case it doesn't, a little hairspray, just to completely polish it off. You know, kind of, you know, completely pull everything down where I need it to go and have it stay there. That's what the hairspray is for. So we're gonna do that real quick and then we should be done. Maybe a little bit on the sides. <coughs> and we'll go through with the brush again. You know, just to make sure we can get everything stained down. You know, but yeah. Anyways, hope you cats enjoyed and chicks out there can't leave out the chicks. This hair tutorial on how I do the slick back hairstyle. And uh, yeah, if you want, I'll do more hair tutorials in the future. I most likely will do more hair tutorials in the future because you know, why not? You know. But uh, yeah, so I can wash my hands off now because I have grease all over them. Just wipe them on my pants. No one will ever know, right? Anyways, I'll see you cats in the next video. Dig?